Hey guys, Minx Media Girl here. So today we're gonna do another fun video with whoops, the Arteza premixed paints. So these are their um, paints that they designed specifically for acrylic pouring. It's 32 bottles in here, but 28 colors. And I've seen a technique that Molly, Molly's Artistry has done on her channel. I'll put a link down in the description. Please, please, please check her channel out. Show her some love. But I've seen a technique that she's done um, where she does a tree ring and then she basically makes designs in it before um, tilting. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm using white. Uh, this is titanium white, phthalo blue. I'm using some gold. I'm using some kind of random colors, just FYI. That is one really fun thing about this box is all the different colors in there, especially ones that I wouldn't necessarily normally use. Um, so yeah. And then I'm using, uh, I don't actually know how to say that, Cerise Pink. If anyone knows how to say it, feel free to correct me. Whoops. It's still got the little white part in there. All right, try that again which pink and yellow generally you don't want to mix, but I'm thinking with that blue, it can create some fun things. Okay. Almost done. Okay. Good, get everything out of the way. I think I am gonna use actually a little more yellow and a tiny bit more pink. And then that's it. I'm real curious how this is going to work out. Okay. So first, the tree ring. I don't have a wet base down here or anything. I'm just pouring on dry canvas. I did use quite a bit of white in there, as you can tell. So it was definitely a risk with that pink and yellow in the same cup, but it looks like it's working out. All right. So I don't know that she has any specific rhyme or reason with the way she does her lines and her wreck a tree ring. So I'm kind of just going to do some fun lines through here. Of course, it's kind of a natural inclination to make a pattern. Let's try going against the pattern. <laughs> well, it's definitely fun, if anything. Okay. Now we tilt. I've never tried this technique before, but I've seen Molly do it a few times, and it always seems to look totally awesome. Definitely, definitely check out her channel. I'll put a link to one of her wreck a, <laughs> wreck -a tree ring videos in the description. And I am just loving these paints. They are super good for trying out all different colors and also super good when you don't feel like mixing more paint. And today is one of those days. I'm kind of at the end of a lot of my paint bottles and I don't feel like having a paint mixing party. So, boom. Thank you, Molly. What a great idea. I love trying everybody's different techniques. You always get something super fun. And these colors actually worked super duper well together, surprisingly. <laughs> All right, let's let this sit here for a minute. I wanna see if anything develops. It looks like there are a couple little possible cells popping up and then we'll do our close up. Okay, we're back. It looks like really not a lot changing. Not a lot's moving, no cells developing. I am actually just super, super in love with this piece. It's crazy awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do the close up. Okay, lower right hand corner here. See our beautiful rings. And this, while well, it looks like brown, is a that gold in there. Coming up to the upper right hand corner. Here's where we have the yellow and pink working in perfect harmony. <laughs> Up to the upper left-hand corner. Here we have the pink and the blue combining to make some purple. I love it. Lower left-hand corner. 
and back to the overall. Okay, guys, as always, thank you for watching. You guys are truly the best, and I will see you all next time.